where am I? I am in this big, beautiful place. You can see all the birds going into a rookery. So Don, if you zoom in right here, all sorts of herons, cormorants, egrets are coming in here. <laughs> that is beautiful. Sun is a little bit bright right now. But uh, all these guys are bedding down for the night. And I'm just looking for last signs of gators. I'm going to do some uh, road cruising. But for an area like this just to exist, this is a hunting area. This is uh, somebody has preserved this habitat for wildlife. And they love wildlife. But they also are hunters and they also encourage other people to hunt this area. Uh, they of course are, they pay to hunt it because they spend a huge amount of effort farming this and creating uh, dike systems and water management, all sorts of different things to attract all of this wildlife. So it is wonderful for the wading birds, all sorts of reptiles, alligators and whatever. And it also tracks waterfowl, so like ducks and stuff like that. So in the fall, some of these uh, animals are taken by the hunters. And I myself am not a hunter, but I appreciate hunters because I'd rather have a forest where a deer hunter can go in there and hunt deer or a meadow with ponds and water systems where a hunter can come and hunt ducks because every year, in theory, there's a big, beautiful, great blue heron right there. Uh, in theory, it will be here year after year supporting all that wildlife versus, well, the woods are just a development opportunity, so somebody's going to come in here and develop them, and then the woods are gone, and then it's a strip mall, or it's whatever, or it's an industrial park, like the worst, and then there's no wildlife. So, if you love nature, you're going to want to support hunters, because hunters make a lot of this stuff... Uh, available to us. You can go there and look. Just like, you know, fishing. I personally like to fish. Uh, I don't really harvest them or anything like that. I enjoy the act of fishing. I grew up fishing. And whatever, I'm a pretty good fisherman too. Fisher person, how about that? Uh, and uh, areas like this are beautiful, but you just got to be realistic. This, it's, you know, it's harder and harder for somebody to qualify uh, a track of land without any purpose. And something that's well managed like this has all sorts of wildlife. There is so good uh, viewing of wildlife here. It, it's, it's excellent, it's a very enjoyable place to be. But you know, people have to pay taxes for property, and stuff like that, so well managed habitat is great. And I'm not around here when they're shooting things out of the sky. Just started pouring rain. It's gonna have to go hide. All right, this is the downside <laughs> of hunting for reptiles. So, turn this around. I'm soaking wet, and I have suntan lotion in my eyes. But this is uh, <laughs> this is what you do. Uh, I'm out in a gator spot. Uh, just doing some walking on a gate area that we work on and uh, I just had I just had a gator and I got the gator to start coming over to me and then the rain just came down so I went and hid so I'm not even sure if the gator's still out there but uh, uh, I'm not naked and I'm not afraid but this is <laughs> sitting here feeling feeling uh, ruined oh it's an egret over there hello egret Wish I could zoom in. This is a gator slide. So I figured they, they want to do it. Oh, I'm soaked. So I just had an alligator. Oh. <laughs> I've lost sight of my gator, but boy, do I feel uncomfortable. Oh, right there, right there. Hi, buddy. So this is a nice little gator. Uh, definitely. So, I literally could probably get He's 
just curious. But we've been having a hard time finding these gators. It's so hot. So I figured I was going to hike in and do it this way. So this gator is about, that's a good uh, six and a half foot right there. And they're a little deceiving because we catch these guys. get into the water. There's a pretty good uh, bank right here. But I could uh, splash around in the water and kind of call it in a bit. But I guess he decided that uh, I'm not edible. So let's go see if I can go find some more. Really looking for some... Uh, oh, there he is. Just popped up. Right Yeah, it's very deceiving. So this gator doesn't look very big when you look at it like this. But. And then when we catch him, we see otherwise. Here, out in the woods, is a fire truck. Mosquitoes. Oh, oh, oh. All right. So, looks like a big rat snake or two live here. That's a friggin' monster. Let's see. Sex that rat snake. Boy, it almost looks femaleish, but see this shed. Question is, this is not a fresh shed by any means. But it does when you're when you're looking for snakes. It gives you some excitement. Maybe we'll just look through the rest of the stuff. But we do have a storm coming through. And that is... We're now looking for... <laughs> oh, look. Sometimes you look in all the abandoned houses and uh, you can find rat snake sheds. Rat snake shed there. But when it's really hot, you're not going to find a lot of stuff on things like this because the metal overheats and snakes. Touch me. I'll take her out in the open. Hi, baby. Lovely. So, once again, see the long tongue flick? She's just figuring it out. She's a big girl. So, if I don't do anything to hurt her or terrify her, I can have a pretty good little episode with this snake and show people. At some point, just let go of her tail for a sec. Come here. There we go. There we go. Hi, 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 hi. Come here. All right. Bring her out. Hi, hi. 
Right. I just want to get her to collect herself. Come here, come here. Come on, slow her down, get her thinking. So you see, she doesn't try to bite me or anything. I'm just, I am trying to get her to calm down for a sec. Get her to think. Look. There we go. So she's just panicking a little bit, but hasn't lost her mind yet. Come here. My stick sucks. Hi. Lovely. This is a water moccasin again. This is a good size animal. Massive head. Look at the head on that. God. Now that's a viper. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that head. Can you zoom in on that at all? Yeah. My camera guy's being silent. Hi, sweetie. Clearly, when you do something like this, I, you, you shouldn't you shouldn't even do it unless you really know a lot. And generally, I'm just enjoying them. And uh, it's just so much time I've spent with snakes and understanding them. Even when you work with snakes heavily, doesn't mean you actually can read them very well, but this is uh, an animal that is, it, she's quite good. And it's only because of how I first introduced myself to her, but they don't have an interest to, they don't attack you, they don't want to get you. So if you really interact with them in, uh, in a respectful fashion, you can have this really uh, much closer idea of what these animals are really like. She's not doing anything, anything at all. Just beautiful, beautiful snake looking for frogs. Isn't that cool? I can't stop filming once again because it's so wonderful. You are a doll. Look at you. I need a little stick. So, this is a cotton mouse. This is called a water moccasin. So basically, this is kind of like an aquatic copperhead. Hi, sweetie. And this is very much a defensive pose. Just trying to figure out what I'm up to. Look at that. You're beautiful. God. And this is Edosaurus Rex. Eat anything. You gonna go? So when that doesn't work, run away. Okay. Right, that's what I want to see. See the gaping mouth? Come on, show me what a, what a badass you are. Buddy. Come here. Oh, hello. <laughs> there you go. Best defense is just to act like a badass, right? Hi.
to all you that think water moccasins or cottonmouths are horrible. I'm very close to the snake. He's just afraid of me. And this is not a water snake. A lot of times people kill water snakes thinking they're cottonmouths, which is not true at all. Look at you. So this snake has been calming down as I've been plaguing it with my existence. But just kind of enjoying them. You're beautiful. But he's starting to figure out that I'm just annoying, but I'm not going to do anything to him. Okay, so this is Cottonmouth. The way he's behaving, I've already kind of made friends with him. So, if I give this guy a chance to think, it's not out to get me at all. People just have these stories and notions. But see the long tongue flick and everything like that? This, this guy is really good. I've already, I've been tinkering around with him and basically teaching them not really out to get them. So at this point, not getting bad behavior, he's fine. But you can do this with so many animals that people think are just terrible because they, they want to you know have these malign stories and how ferocious they are. This is just an animal just doing what it wants to do. Right now it's thinking. We're not in fear crazy mode. If I respect this animal, I'm not telling people to go do this because it's a great way to get bit, but I'm doing this to show you. You know, and the only thing is, so if I'm holding this guy, I want to make sure I'm supporting him because that way I'm keeping him in thinking mode. This is thinking mode, not I'm going to lose my mind mode or anything like that. And then I can just enjoy the animal for a couple minutes and then I let him go. But Wonderful animal. I'm a trained professional, guys. I know what I'm doing. I don't get bit by venomous reptiles. How's that, though, huh? Isn't that just awesome? Hi, buddy. Lovely. I can't stop filming because he's just so wonderful. Actually, a little girl. All right, well, we're gonna let her go back and uh, go on with our day. See if we can get something bigger. A little mailbox turtle. I found, him and he is gorgeous. Look at you. I know I suck. Trust you. You're a bad human being. Sneaky. You look like you're gonna eat me. You got the beady eyes. Nope. I'm gonna let you go. Because you're wonderful. <laughs> that got him going. I love Give me that. Yeah. Yeah.